Mom, I'm home. Oh, but can go lang late na? Because I was out with some friends. Yeah, friends again. Oh, my na. No, I have not eaten yet, Mom. Okay. Any more tests? Oh, uh, I have an AP calculus test tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Okay, go eat. Then go up. Study. I'll study first. Then I'm gonna go eat later. See you later, Mom. Man, all these tests. Stuff. Man, but I'm gonna study for this test tomorrow. Okay. So I have this AP Calculus, AP exam, Princeton review, but I think I need a little something more. Maybe something online. Let's see here. Here's a few videos by James Spillman, Akash, and Pavatar Singh. This is pretty interesting. Hi, my name is James Spillman. Welcome to Crash Course AB Calculus AB. We're going to start off today's episode with an open letter. An open letter from JP. Hey Akash, James, and Pavatar. I'm struggling with limits today in class. Any help? Well, you're in luck. Because this episode is on limits. You heard correctly. You are indeed talking about limits. Now, according to your best and only friend, besides Mr. Jordan, that is, a limit is the value of a function that approaches the variable within the function, it gets nearer and nearer to a particular value. In other words, when x is very close to a certain number, what is the value of f of x? There are two types of limit. There's a left hand limit and there's the right hand limit. Let's look at an example. In this graph, 1 over x, as x approaches 0, the left hand limit is going to negative infinity and the right hand limit is going to positive infinity. Now, in this example, since the both powers are the same, the limit would be 8 over 16, or 1 half. So. Remember, if the highest power of x in a rational expression is in the numerator, then the limit of x as it approaches infinity is infinity. If the highest power of x in a rational expression is in the denominator, as the limit as the limit approaches infinity, it's zero. At some point during your exam, you'll probably find these trig identities and limits regarding trig identities. You should probably memorize them, but although they are a pain in the ass, you're gonna do what you're gonna do to find that five. Rule number one, as x approaches zero, the graph of sine of x divided by x, the limit is always one. Rule number two, as x approaches zero, of the graph cosine x minus one divided by one, the limit is always zero. Now when x approaches zero, when the coefficient sine ax or a x, then the limit is a. The coefficient and when the limit approaches zero, the equation sine ax over sine bx, then the limit is a over b. Thank you for watching this episode of Crash Course Calculus. Now remember kids, while doing calculus, don't drink and drive. Okay, so now I get it. Alright, so I'm gonna try a couple problems here. Let's see. Alright, so let's see here. So if I have the limit when x approaches 3, and my function is basically x to the 4th minus 81, all over 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Basically, well, let's see what we can do here. So, I guess we need to factor these out. So, let's see. So, this equals limit as x approaches 3. We can eliminate some things, so x minus 3, we can take that out, and that now leaves us with limit x approaches 3, with x plus 3 times x squared plus 9, all over 2x plus 1. Now, I think we can substitute 3 into these, so let's try it. So, limit as x approaches 3. We go 3 plus 3, 
3 squared plus 9 all over hmm, 2 times 3 plus 1 and let's see here so that's 9 and then 9 plus 9 equals 18 and then that equals 108 and then 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 1 equals 7 so I think the answer is 108 over 7 cool finally I know how to do this Hey mom, I finally finished studying for my AP Calculus test. Can I go? Ah, no! Why? No way! <sighs> Dang it. Huh, whatever. You have to come with me! Where? Somewhere. Mom!